If you're new here, my name is Lindsay and I'm a part-time reseller on Poshmark and also The Real Real. I do post new content every Monday and Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern of my unboxings. So if you do enjoy mystery unboxings from ThreadUp and also the Goodwill Blue Box, please consider subscribing and hitting the like button for me if you enjoy the video. So today I just wanted to do a quick update about The Real Real. I had posted a video probably about a month ago and, you know, it was kind of a cautionary tale of my experiences um, with my first few consignments. I was running into some issues with um, a pair of shoes that had gotten lost and just a larger consignment that I had sent in where it took probably about two months for me to receive the items back that they had rejected. So I was having quite a few frustrations. Um, so I just want to kind of update you guys and also let you know what ended up happening with that um, Chanel beach bag that I had unboxed in last week's video. That was that pink terry cloth. And if you remember, I put some information up on the screen that the Real Real had offered me a get paid now option. So I just want to update you on that and let you know if I did get paid. Um, so to kind of back up just a second, um, I did want to let you know that they located my shoes that were missing. So that was good news. When they did come into my account, they were showing that they were online for about 35 days. So my guess is that they had been posted under someone else's account and that's why they were in limbo for a while. Um, somebody had commented on that video that, you know, when they mentioned to the real real that their item had gotten lost, that that really seemed to set a fire under them to do something. So I use that verbiage as well, um, the keyword being lost, and that seems to really get the process moving with them locating that. So I was happy about that. Um, I did receive all of the items back that they had rejected as well, and quite a few of those I've already sold already. So it's all good there, um, but I still recommend just sending in, you know, about four items at a time. That's the most that I've done. Um, but since the last video, I have been working exclusively with a girl over there. And what I've been using her for the most is actually texting her photos of items that I'm considering sending in. And she'll let me know if A, they're going to accept the item and B, what a quote would be. So I've done that on a few things that she said, no, unfortunately we wouldn't be able to take it. And I thought that was great because then at least I don't waste my time or theirs by trying to send something in and then being without it for, you know, a month or so waiting for the whole process to be completed for me to get it back. So that's what I ended up doing with that beach bag. I had shopped it around to a couple other luxury um, reselling websites that I've sold things outright to and they were not interested in it just because of the condition. Um, I did clean it up quite a bit so it did look better than how it did in the video. I was able to trim up some of the loose threads and fix up the handles so it definitely looked better than how it did when I unboxed it. But I sent her, you know, the pictures of it, um, disclosing everything. Um, also, the little zipper pouch inside, the zipper was no longer working. Um, it, I was able to get it open during the unboxing, but after that, it was a no-go. So I let her know about all of that, and she came back and gave me a couple options on whether I wanted to consign it or do a get paid now. So there's only certain items that are eligible for get paid now, and it is a slightly lesser percentage than if you do a consignment, but you get paid now versus waiting, you know, however long before the item sells. And, you know, once the item is discounted down, if it's been on the site a while, you could end up making more money doing the get paid now anyways. So it's going to be, and I have a little list here that I'll share with you what items might be eligible for that. Um, it's going to be um, your handbags that are priced at $9.95 through $49.95. And that get paid now option would be 60%. Um, and then there's also an option they offer about trading. I'm not really sure what that entails um, or there's just a regular consignment percentage, um, which for something in that category would be 70%. So it would be a matter of getting paid now at 60 or doing the consignment for 70. 
So she offered me a range of 657 through 777, I believe it was for the get paid now. So that's obviously contingent on, you know, what their findings are once they look over the condition and then they can give you your final quote. So it ended up once I sent it in, they did go on the lower end and um, they offered me the 657. And I just had to go in and, you know, sign my rights to the item that it was no longer in my property. It was now property of the real real. And definitely I could not get it back for any reason. And um, I went ahead and accepted the offer for six fifty seven, dollars And I believe I had the money in my bank account within two days. So that was fantastic. And I can't even... It went way better than I could have imagined. I, I thought it was too good to be true, um, especially in that condition. Um, but I was I was really thrilled with it. So, you know, obviously most of the items that come in the designer box are not going to be a handbag that's going to be able to be sold for that amount. So it's going to be on a very rare occasion that something like this may apply. Um, but if you do have anything um, that might be eligible, so the handbags, $9.95 through $49.95 was a 60% for get paid now. If you have a handbag that's $49.95 or more, you can get up to 70% get, get paid now. Um, any jewelry that's priced at $9.95 or higher um, is 60%. Watches at $24.95 or higher get 75%. And sneakers, uh, one ninety five or more, you get sixty percent. So I think that's a really, really good option, and I was very happy with it. So um, overall, the real, real process has been going much better. I have sent in quite a few con more consignments on the four item limit that I've set for myself to send at a time, and the processing time has been much quicker. You know, I would say it's probably about two weeks by the time they receive it until the items are live on the site. So, you know, please feel free to leave any questions below that you may have about the Real Real, and I'd be happy to answer them or possibly do another video. Um, and I'll keep you posted if there's any other, um, you know, interesting things that happen um, there. But um, mostly what I've been sending in is a lot of the clothing items from these boxes that I just don't want to deal with. So I'm gonna go ahead and move this aside and we'll just go ahead and get started with an unboxing um, to conclude the video. Um, today I have two sleepwear boxes. I figured I would open both of them since there's only four items in each box, so it should be pretty quick. I ordered one of these boxes a few months ago that I shared with you guys and it was okay. Um, I've sold two of the items so far and I have not made my money back yet. Um, once the other two sell, I think it'll be just about break even. It was not a great box. I only had one item that was brand new and it was just an Auden brand bra, which, you know, I think the retail price on those is around $15. So not much potential there. So I'm hoping these are going to be better. Um, this tiny box on top, this one's from Phoenix, Arizona. Um, so we'll go ahead and get this open. I've never had this size pack, so I think this may be what the jewelry come in. So I'm not sure if that's the only place that there's tape. So we'll go ahead and move that over. And the, the one that I opened in the other video, I believe was from Georgia. So this one is from Phoenix. And we have more tape over here. Okay, and this one I ordered quite a while ago. It was February 11th, and I did pay $24 for it. Um, I believe the minimum to not pay shipping with the high um, VIT or whatever the, um, the level is that I am with ThreadUp, I believe you need to spend $29. So I did pay a $5 shipping on this. So here is a first look. And we do have a bra on top. And this is just um, like a leopard print. And it's got a lace detail. Black. And this is Alomi. 
um, and it's the Morgan style 36 double D and it's a $66 price tag. So already this is a better item than what I had gotten in my last box. So I'm happy with that. Um, you know, bras do okay, especially ones that are better brands. I haven't heard of the brand, but you know, at that price point and it feels pretty nice. So I like that. And next we have, um, looks like a sleep shirt. Um, actually, it's a little short sleeve romper. So that's cute, it's navy blue. And I thought I saw Victoria's Secret somewhere. Um, yes, it's Victoria's Secret in a medium. And this does not look like it's brand new. I don't see a tag on it. And uh, it looks like it's in good condition. Oh, and it has the little VS on the little waist tie there. So it seems like it's in good shape. And that's something that would be cute for spring. So that's not bad. And next we do have a Victoria's Secret. And um, this um, are just some thong little panties with the garter belt attachments. And this has a $30 tag on it and it's a size small. So that's great. At least that is brand new. And lastly, we have, it looks like a robe. And this is, um, oh, Sauvage Fenty. So Rihanna's brand and it's a medium large. And it's a really cute pale pink color. And then it has just kind of a um, peach colored uh, tie. And it's a long. And I did not see um, like a price tag or anything on it. So I imagine this is used. So that's not bad. I've, I've only sold um, underwear and bras from her brand. So I'll have to look into the robe, but it seems like people enjoy this brand. I don't think this will go for a whole lot, but maybe 25 or 30 bucks or something like that. So I think that was really good. That was our four items for that box. And you'll have to let me know in the comments below which of the two you think is better. Um, this one came from Mechanicsburg, so very interesting. Now I have um, one box from each warehouse. So, so far out of the three, obviously Phoenix is the better one. So we'll see if Mechanicsburg can top it. Okay, and I had this one sitting around for so long because I was waiting to get a second one so I could unbox them both together and do a comparison. Um, this one I ordered on February 22nd and it was also the $24 plus shipping. And this one, I'm seeing some brand new stuff, so that's great. And on top we have a Victoria's Secret bra. Um, it's pretty padded, a push-up bra. And um, this is actually pink and Victoria's Secret Pink, and it's a 32D. So a really tiny size, but um, nice and brand new. And then um, this is also brand new. This is J. Crew, and it's an extra small. And this is a PJ set, a long sleeve top. And that is new with the tag, but there's not a price on it. And then just some shorts to go with it. So that's super cute. So really lightweight and soft. So that would be nice for spring. And next we have um, Soma Cool Nights PJ set. This has a long sleeve tee and also pants and they're a navy blue with um little gold stars on them 
And these are a size medium with a $70 tag on them. I wish these were my size. I love um, Soma's pajamas. They're really, really soft and comfortable. Um, and these are no exception. Really, really nice. So I think those will do okay and, you know, in a nice giftable condition. Lastly, it looks like we might have another robe here. I'm accumulating quite a few robes from these various boxes. So hopefully I can sell some of them. Um, this one is a really fun pattern. And this may be our first item that is not brand new. It is by the brand Linnea Donatella. And this is a small medium. And I think I may have gotten one other piece from this brand in another box. I love this print. Really pretty floral, um, you know, multicolor pattern. And it's short sleeve. So again, this is a nice spring, summery, lightweight robe. Probably hits just below the knee or maybe just above the knee. And, uh, you know, just a flowy sleeve. Really nice, and it's got the tie with it. So, excellent. So, let me know which box you think is better. Um, to recap, on this one, we got the Soma Pajamas, the Victoria's Secret Bra, the J. Crew PJ set that's brand new, and this robe. And then, in the first one, we had the Savage Fenty robe the panties from Victoria's Secret, the Victoria's Secret romper, and then um, this bra by the brand Elomi. So both of these I'm very happy with. They're both way better than my last one. And I was really disappointed in the last one because usually in the fun boxes you get some decent sleepwear. And what I received in my box was worse than what I would get in a fun box. So I think all of this will do pretty well and it'll definitely be a profit at that price point. So I'm excited to get all this listed. Um, let me know what your thoughts are and I will see you on the next video. Have a great day.